and it's our Saoirse. Left of centre in the lead from Tyrock Brandy and Hakiba. Dan's Gift is making ground over on the far side and then comes De La Tour with Jazz of Fair and El Batal spread across the track racing towards the last furlong. Arsirsha picked off by Tyrock Brandy and Hakiba is there in between horses as they run up towards the finish. Tyrock Brandy on the far side. Tyrock Brandy, Hakiba and Arsirsha possibly in that order and then running on behind them was Nick Bay with Dan's Gift and Caesar's Comet. And it's our Saoirse left of centre in the lead from Tyrock Brandy and Hakiba. Dan's Gift is making ground over on the far side and then comes De La Tour with Jazz of Fair and El Batal spread across the track racing towards the last furlong. Our Saoirse picked off by Tyrock Brandy and Hakiba is there in between horses as they run up towards the finish. Tyrock Brandy on the far side. Tyrock Brandy, Hakiba and Our Saoirse, possibly in that order and then running on behind them was Nick Bay with Dan's Gift and Caesar's Comet. Chateau Conti has dropped back and then Zayrian. Georgian Bay is picking up on the outside of Cape Agulhas. In between horses is John Honeyman. Is he Bay or Grey right down the outside is joining in. Racing towards the final furlong. Not much between Georgian Bay and the centre. Cape Agulhas the far side stand side is Izzy Bay or Grey. Running up towards the line and Georgian Bay is just beginning to go on close home to beat Cape Agulhas and Izzy Bay or Grey and the three were clear of the fourth, so it's a mighty start for Ado McGuinness training the first two winners, seven Georgian Bays won. Chateau Conti has dropped back and then Zayrian. Georgian Bay is picking up on the outside of Cape Agulhas. In between horses is John Honeyman. Is he Bay or Grey right down the outside is joining in. Racing towards the final furlong. Not much between Georgian Bay and the centre. Cape Agulhas the far side stand side is Izzy Bay or Grey. Running up towards the line and Georgian Bay is just beginning to go on close home to beat Cape Agulhas and Izzy Bay or Grey and the three were clear of the fourth, so it's a mighty start for Ado McGuinness training the first two winners, seven Georgian Bays won. Making their way on up the straight with two and a half to go. Carried on the far side of Ala Jazz with Waterboy trying to get to them on the left. Far side is the top weight Chow and then Masalai making ground. Al Kander from the back is Ragtime Red and then Pivotal Man racing towards the final furlong and Chow hits the front with in second place. On the outside is Waterboy and then Ragtime Red. Carried is next up towards the finish. It's Chow in the centre. Chow and Waterboy, they hit the line is one Waterboy and Chow has gone to the judge and then Ragtime Red and carried. Making their way on up the straight with two and a half to go. Carried on the far side of Ala Jazz with Waterboy trying to get to them on the left. Far side is the top weight Chow and then Masalai making ground. Al Kander from the back is Ragtime Red and then Pivotal Man racing towards the final furlong and Chow hits the front with in second place. On the outside is Waterboy and then Ragtime Red. Carried is next up towards the finish. It's Chow in the centre. Chow and Waterboy, they hit the line is one Waterboy and Chow has gone to the judge and then Ragtime Red and carried. Important message in the orange colours. Challenged by Sharjah. And then comes Sleepy Head on the right is Magic Sea. Lucis Nature is just behind them with Yamato. And Miss Louise is making good ground over on the far side. A furling and a half to go. And it's Sharjah on the stand side of Miss Louise. These two fight on from Magic Sea. Lucis Nature is staying on as Caranda. And it's Miss Louise and Killian Leonard beginning to gain the upper hand as they run up to the finish and is drawing away. It is a win for Miss. Louise Charger second, third is Magic C, and then Lucis Naturea, Yamato, Caronda, and Shake the Bucket.
important message in the orange colours, challenged by Sharjah, and then comes Sleepyhead on the right as Magic C. Lucis Nature is just behind them with Yamato, and Miss Louise is making good ground over on the far side. A furling and a half to go, and it's Sharjah on the stand side of Miss Louise. These two fight on from Magic C. Lucis Nature is staying on as Caranda, and it's Miss Louise and Killian Leonard beginning to gain the upper hand as they run up to the finish and is drawing away. It is a win for Miss Louise, Sharjah second, third is Magic C, and then Lucis Naturea, Yamato, Karanda, and Shake the Bucket. Cafu is making ground just behind those over on the far side. Festina Plente is next with Count Dorsey and offline, racing towards the final furling and a half. Empire Line being followed by Bo Warrior, who's seeking a fourth course win in a row and is challenging on the near side. It's Bo Warrior getting to Empire Line. Ronan Whale and Anato McGuinness are having Dundalk winners to beat the band. Empire Line wins it from Empire, uh, Empire Line, preceded by Bo Warrior and third, just behind them, was Cafu. Cafu is making ground just behind those over on the far side. Festina Plente is next with Count Dorsey and offline, racing towards the final furling and a half. Empire Line being followed by Bo Warrior, who's seeking a fourth course win in a row and is challenging on the near side. It's Bo Warrior getting to Empire Line. Ronan Whale and Anato McGuinness are having Dundalk winners to beat the band. Empire Line wins it from Empire, uh, Empire Line, preceded by Bo Warrior. And third, just behind them, was Cafu. Christopher Wave is next with Ken Sams, a little over two to go, and I see Breeze has won back the lead and goes on from three majors. Christopher Wave up the rail with Hey Pretty 500 miles. Ken Sams very smart. I see Breeze is the leader with a furlong to go, chased by 500 miles. Ken Sams is closing on the outside. I see Breeze was only pipped here last time and is going to get to the post first. It is I see Breeze, Ken Sams 500 miles, and Christopher Wave. The one, two, three, four. Christopher Wave is next with Ken Sams, a little over two to go, and I see Breeze has won back the lead and goes on from three majors. Christopher Wave up the rail with Hey Pretty 500 miles. Ken Sams very smart. I see Breeze is the leader with a furlong to go, chased by 500 miles. Ken Sams is closing on the outside. I see Breeze was only pipped here last time and is going to get to the post first. It is I see Breeze, Ken Sams 500 miles, and Christopher Wave. The one, two, three, four. Racing on towards the final two and a half furlongs, it's Pushak in the spotted colours, coming there on the outside in the orange Hassel Knot, and then Port Lines, just behind them is Gugon Barra, on the right is Secret Wizard with Koi Big, racing towards the final furlong, Hassel Knot and Shane Cross just hit the front, challenged by Port Lines and Billy Lee on the near side, and coming on the far side is Secret Wizard and Robbie Colgan, Secret Wizard has wore down Port Lines and Hassel Knot, Gugon Barra is fourth and fifth is push egg. Racing on towards the final two and a half furlongs, it's Pushak in the spotted colours, coming there on the outside in the orange Hassel Knot, and then Port Lines, just behind them is Gugon Barra, on the right is Secret Wizard with Koi Big, racing towards the final furlong, Hassel Knot and Shane Cross just hit the front, challenged by Port Lines and Billy Lee on the near side, and coming on the far side is Secret Wizard and Robbie Colgan, Secret Wizard has wore down Port Lines and Hassel Knot, Gugon Barra is fourth and fifth is push egg. Cuban Hope has been asked and then comes Isosceles and Serenely. Lavengro Lad is next and down the outside is Lyrical Attraction and Dandy Bell. Racing with a furling and a half to go and Cuban Hope goes for home. Just heads Isotope then Serenely, Isosceles and Lyrical Attraction. It's Cuban Hope and Kevin Manning over on the far side coming fighting back is Isotope and Shane Cross. Lyrical Attraction is still closing under Connor Hoban. They're running towards the finish. Cuban Hope has it! Cuban Hope has it from Isotope political attraction serenely and from the back film noir
Cuban hope is being asked, and then comes Isosceles and Serenely. Lavengro Lad is next, and down the outside is Lyrical Attraction and Dandy Bell. Racing with a furling and a half to go, and Cuban hope goes for home. Just heads Isotope, then Serenely, Isosceles, and Lyrical Attraction. It's Cuban hope and Kevin Manning over on the far side, coming fighting back is Isotope and Shane Cross. Lyrical Attraction is still closing under Connor Hoban. They're running towards the finish. Cuban hope has it. Cuban hope has it from Isotope. Lyrical attraction, serenely, and from the back, film noir.